Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at synonyms. Now this lesson is called Synonyms Part 1 because synonym questions will reappear further along the line. And this one focuses on pairing up words. So the skills that you need in this are knowledge of word definitions, an ability to identify synonyms and a wide vocabulary. First of all, let's begin with a really important question. What is a synonym? I've been saying the word lots and it might seem a bit confusing, but don't worry. This is what we're going to cover today. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning or a similar meaning to another word. And if you can remember, the great place to look up words that have similar similar meanings to other words is thesaurus. So the thesaurus is a place where you find synonyms. Let's have a look at some words and see what other words have the same or similar meanings to them. So we've got cheap. What are the synonyms for cheap? Economical, inexpensive, low cost, budget, reasonable. So they're all words with a similar meaning. Slow, sluggish, leisurely, unhurried, lazy, gradual. And finally, cut, chop, divide, slice, crop, trim. Now, if there are any words here that you didn't previously know, it's a great idea to note them down and build a glossary book as we're going through this scheme and these topics. So how is the question going to appear in the test? You're going to have to pair up words. So identify and underline words that are closest in meaning. So identify and underline the synonyms. So you'll be given two groups of words, like so, and you have to think, okay, which two words from each group are similar in meaning. And the good thing to do here is to work left to right. So to start off with the first group and work our way on from there. So if we begin with snail, what is a snail? It's a mollusk, it's got its house on its back, a little shell. And now let's go through the words from the other group, again, from left to right, and think if they share a meaning with snail. Can snail mean cold? No. Can it mean listen? No. Can it mean cry? No. So snail, we can eliminate snail. We could put a line through snail and know that snail is not relevant here. Next, whale. So what is a whale? It's a sound of distress. Okay, so now let's work through the words in the other list again. Can it mean cold? No. Can it mean listen? No. Can it mean cry? Yes, it can. Okay, so a cry and a wail, both things that suggest distress or sadness. So we'll work through the last word anyway, just in case we've misinterpreted something. Scold. What is scold? Oh, to tell off, so to be told off, not very nice. Can it mean cold? No. Listen? No. Cry? No. Okay, so we know for certain that the synonyms here, the words that are closest in meaning, are whale and cry. And that is what is demanded of you in this task. So it's really important to use not only these lessons, but also daily life as an opportunity to expand your vocabulary, to look for synonyms and understand the definitions of words. Because as you can see, it will really help you in tasks like this for verbal reasoning. So that's all for today's lesson on synonyms and pairing up words. But don't forget to have a go at the quiz right at the end of this. And I'll see you at the next lesson.